What's up YouTube? Thanks for tuning in to another Bald Mike Does Life video. Uh, as you can see in today's description, this is five things you should know before buying a Ford Maverick. Uh, let me give you a little bit of background here. Uh, before I ordered this truck, I was coming from a 2019 FX4 package XLT Ford Ranger. I uh, love that truck. Uh, did pretty good on gas mileage, so on and so forth. Then I lifted it and then it killed the gas mileage. It's got about 13 to 15 miles to the gallon. So uh, I decided it was time for a change and the Ford Maverick had, had come out and uh, they were very difficult to get a hold of. So on November 15th, 2021, I went to the dealer and I actually sat down and ordered one. Uh, this time I decided I wanted to go and have a Lariat package because the price point of the trucks were, were relatively pretty good. Uh, so I did order a 2022 Ford Maverick in a Lariat package. Off of, also, it was an FX4. Uh, it took about eight months before the truck got here. Uh, the only ads that I had on the truck were it just, just a plain old Lariat package. So this is where it gets into the five things I wish I would have known. Because when we ordered this truck, we thought, oh yeah, a Lariat should have these items that I really wanted that, because they came standard on an XLT package Ford Ranger. So the first thing is when you order one of these trucks, uh, they don't come with remote start standard. They don't come with Sirius satellite radio. That's number two. And the third one is no heated front seats. So in order to get those three packages, you have to order the Lux package, which is an extra $3,600, $3,700. So had I known that, that it didn't come with those items, I would have just went with the regular XLT package and I would have been okay. I would have saved myself probably a couple thousand dollars because I don't necessarily need leather seats. And as cold as it is here in Kansas during the winter, I would rather have cloth seats so I don't freeze my butt off when I get in the truck. Um, the number four thing, the fuel economy. So far, I don't have very many complaints at all about the fuel economy. Uh, this is the EcoBoost 2.0. Uh, 2.0 liter in you know four cylinder. Um, the best I've ever got on the highway was 34 and a half miles. And this thing has a sweet spot. If you run around 68 to 70 miles an hour, this thing will get excellent fuel economy. I have just over 10,000 miles on the truck right now, and fuel economy. If you're going into the wind, it does really knock it down quite a bit. But if you're just driving or without any wind or a tailwind, this thing will get excellent fuel economy. I usually run about seven miles over the stated speed limit. So most of the time the speed limit on the highways around here around 75, so I run 82. And when I run 82, I get about 26 miles to the gallon as long as there's no headwind. Uh, if I keep it down around 70, I will get over 30 miles to the gallon. So that's number four there. Fuel economy is excellent. In my opinion, even with just a standard EcoBoost versus the hybrid. Hybrid, I think they get close to 40. And number four, the room in this truck. Um, when I bought the truck, I, I hadn't really got in the truck, but I am six foot three, I'm a bigger dude. I think the room in this truck's excellent. I can get in and out of this truck with zero issues. I don't bang my head. The door openings are very, very big. Uh, even the back seat. Now, I can't get in the back seat if the driver's seat is uh, pushed back, but if it, it is up, the only reason why is my feet, I wear a size 13 shoe, my feet won't fit between the back of the seat and where the floorboard is. But other than that, if that seat's pushed up, I could ride in the back of this truck pretty easily, and I have tons of headroom, so I'm not banging my head on the, head, uh, on the roof or anything like that. So uh, those are just my five things that, that uh, you guys hopefully we'll take into consideration when ordering that you have to get a Lux package if you want those items. Yes, before you Ford advocates go get in a tizzy, yes, you can use the Ford app, which I use for my remote start. You can also use your cell phone for the satellite radio, which I don't like to use because even though your cell phone has unlimited data, it still pulls from it if you go and drive six or seven hours and you listen to satellite radio on your phone the whole time when you want to go to search something on the internet like a restaurant to where to eat it slows your phone down uh the heated seats those are just they are it is what it is on that point 
Um, not much you can do about that. But overall, this truck, I've owned roughly 15 to 18 brand new vehicles in the last probably eight or nine years. I love this truck. I actually loved it so much I bought an extended warranty on it to 125,000 miles. Um, I plan on keeping this truck till the day uh, it decides to just kaput on me and then I just have to sell it to a salvage yard. But I'm telling you now, if you can find a Ford Maverick and get lucky like I did, I paid invoice for the truck, um, you will absolutely love the truck. And I don't think you will have any complaints just like I, I've had next to zero complaints on it. I just want to say thanks thanks for tuning in. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe, no, uh, notification bell icon deal. Uh, God bless and go Kansas City Chiefs. And thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching.